It's the day of Mon! And news rounds up next, followed by TSOTB. Hey, Chris, if you had 20 seconds to do anything you wanted, what would you do? Good question. Um, probably this. <laughs> I should have known it would be something really, really weird and really annoying. Here's news round. It's been a lovely day today. It certainly has, cocker. Not only have I pied Yonko in the face, right but the we face. have got a little bit of Mary, Mum and Dad up next. And after TSOTB, Sadie J. Can't get any better, can it? It can't hear, or can it? It can't hear, it is. La 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 la, ask us anything. La 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 la, ask us anything. It could be our last chance ever. But snap, though, we'll do it again next week. <laughs> Well, well, sting, you know, ask us anything does exactly what it says on the sting, doesn't it? You ask us anything you want and we answer those questions, don't we, mate? We answer them in a light-hearted way. Charlotte's up first. Do you like Char? Lots. Example of the light-hearted nature there. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Oh, Charlotte, I like to play football. I'm actually the eighth and ninth best person in my team. Hold on, it's an five aside. <sighs> Play every Tuesday. Come along, it's a good game. You gotta get on the mailing list. Matty, what's Hacker's middle name? The. It is indeed. Lisa, what's your favourite type of question? Not this one, Lisa. Oh, my favourite type is that one. That's love and balance, that answer. Oh, no. Megan, how old is Pig with Tash? We oh. don't know how old, we can tell you this. Um, back in the day, I had a humble pig. Yeah, and I had a, a basic moustache. We combined them together and we came up with. <laughs> Pig whipped up. Don't kiss him. Sorry. Email in to bbc at bbc.co.uk. Ask us anything. We answer the questions. It's very simple. Now something else is simple. What's marrying it? your parents. It's marrying mum and dad. With the thin-haired Neo. Oh, don't say that. Uh... I say... Let's, Let's play! play. <laughs> Now, as you can see, we're about to play Splatoon nicely. <laughs> you two right over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw a bit left out. <laughs> uh, we're about to play Splatoon nicely here with the lovely Lauren. Or shall I say, Plattoon nicely? I'd rather you didn't. I've been it's a week, to say that week, week, all week, afternoon. Now, listen here, Tell the rules, rules are very simple, you two. Yes. One of you will get pied in the face after the lovely task of sticking your face in that machine. Yeah. I will start shop. Shout stop. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> and the randomizer will pick a number or something. And whoever does that will... Oh, yeah, just run the you know. <laughs> Splat will do nicely! Splat! Perfect. Oh, there's the splat. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Right. You both put yeah. your face in the thing in turn. One of you will get pied. It's easy as that. It's easy as that. Now, Who's going first, Trim, you go first. Lauren, right. go first. Who's... Q, scoops, get your face in right, it. Cool. Oh, he's going first. Oh. Yes. It's well rehearsed. Commence the machine. <laughs> Please be alone. Stop! Five. If I get pied on the first go, it'll be a short link. It's such a <laughs> Two, three, three, four. four. Oh, please. Five. Five. Oh, <laughs> Lauren. Lauren, get your mush in that thing. This Watch the curls. Get the curls. <laughs> and the weave. <laughs> Stop. Three. Do three turns away oh, from yourself. Good luck. No One. pressure. One. One. Two. Scoops, get back in! Oh, that is so nerve-wracking! It's so nerve-wracking, isn't it? And one. stop! One! Five again! <laughs> and it's totally random, yeah, if anyone Yeah, it's totally asks. random, this! Oh, I'm getting pied, aren't I? Yeah. One, two, two. three! <laughs> I didn't expect it on the two... Yeah, thank you for that, you oh, lovely. That was great. Karim got pied. That was splattled in nicely, or plattled in nicely. I'm going to say it again. Come uh, further here's, over. Here's Dixie. Oh, is it in the in the people? In the, it's in the, a... Mark, it's in the eyes. <laughs> Why are you holding it? Good morning, it's still Ben and Dodge here in the CBC office and we got loads more to come like the dumping ground, the yep. slammer, but first yep. a bit of a blast from the past that is horrible history. Yeah. But even more first, it's Chris's Big Sunday Quiz! Yonko, what are you still doing here? I told you to clear off. Uh, no. 
It's time for round three, a round I like to call Yonko's Hysterical Histories. You two, inspired by horrible histories, have to look at a clip of a historical figure who is very, very accurately portrayed by a stunning performer. At the end of that clip, you've got to tell me who it is. Simples? Uh, I guess yeah. so, yeah. Okie dokes, Benjamin! Yeah. Please take a look at this clip of a genuine historical performance and tell me, who is this? 18th century France! How perfect! Apart from the peasants, of course. But let them eat cake, I say! Be it gâteau, or tiny souffle, or those little muffins you get from grocers that have got the paper design on. Paper you can eat, would you believe it? I love cake! Accurately portrayed there. I think you'll agree. But who, Benjamin, was that hysterical historical figure? Dolly Parton. King Louis? Neither! Who's Marie Antoinette? Let them eat cake! That was a man! Hey, we're Marie! Steady on! Dodge T Dog! What? Please take a look at this clip and tell me who is this hysterical historical figure? <laughs> oh, hello! Would you like to share painting? I've got one here. And I've got a painting. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's your little, it's your little joke. Do you like it? What? You'll have to speak up. Speak up! Speak up! Speak up! Dusty Dog. I know it. Who was I know it? it? Sean Connery. I know it. It's Van Gogh. It was Vincent Van Gogh. That is our point to Dodge T. Dog, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to know one more thing? No. Oh, there's nothing written on this. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Right, I suppose we'll be doing this again. What? Don't, don't be so happy. I will get you in the next round. <laughs> we'll play some more of his quiz right after Horrible Histories. <laughs> Is that a mouse? Yeah, oh, look. let's do a wacky entrance. Yeah. It's worth it, wasn't it? It was very much worth it. Silly so Jay's up next, but then we're going to redeem ourselves with this. La 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 la. Ask us anything. La 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 la. Ask us anything. Hacker's not getting the last word, then. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I will. I told you. No. I got the last word in. Oh, long sting. We've got some questions from you guys at home. James, here, James. Where's your giant peach? <laughs> Literature joke. Do you have any pets? Yes, yes James, I do. Yes. Um, Ian. 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 Still, yeah. Dizzy. Yeah. Next question from Ella. How many bogeys do you have in your nose? Easy question. Easy answer. 60. Yep. Yeah. Eight per nostril. Oh, one extra one. Fifteen. Brilliant. Uh, finally, Thomas. <laughs> the tank engine. Didn't deserve a double one. I got a double one, though. When was the first time you met? Oh! Ah. First time you met? Oh, funny story. That's, that's funny, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Middle of May 2009. Yeah. CBBC at bbc.co.uk. You can ask us anything you want about anything you want. You might want to ask. How many what's it? <laughs> That's a good question. Right now, though, time for Sadie J. Jalapeno Tanju. Hey, it's the CBBC channel. Tracy Beaker Returns is up in just a moment, but first. It's a shredder. It's me. And me. And me. Oh, it's shredder time. Uh, who's he? I have no idea. Um, That's okay, we'll just get on with it. Yes, you've been sending in your pictures to be shredded. Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, this was sent in by Libby from Cornton Partington, place I've never heard of. Oh, it's you and me. Look, yes, oh, got my are. mouth wash. And it's, uh, I think it's shredder time. <laughs> Yes, I think so. There's lots of lots of things saying shredder time. Ooh. And uh, she, look, she's got she's got the old website address wrong. Oh no! BBC.co.uk slash cuc. I'm taking she didn't email well, us in. I'm not on that. How about no? Why not? Yes, well, I, I think there is a reason for that actually. Oh, that's shredded. Yeah, go on. Let's Give go me that. Then. Oh, shredder time. Shredded. Hmm. Well. Um, this is from Georgia Horton from Blackpool. It's Hello. Uh, me and Ed once again. And, uh, oh, Outro and Hacker are there, but they, they don't seem to be very entertained. Look, well, no, they're asleep, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're getting amongst it. Yeah, they're getting involved. Yes, a bit like you. Not so yes. much. Yeah. I'm, I'm not on that <coughs> one either. No, you're not. Yes, it's very observant of you. Should we spread it? Yeah, why not? Go on. Spread it! <laughs> Get in there. Oh, spread it! Shredded. Very slick, yeah. yes, very smooth. And last but not least. Yes, there's this one here, sent in by Kira Menton. 
and uh, look, we've both got tops that say that we're the best. Ed's the best, Chris is the best. We, we can't both be the best. No. Edward, no. you're wearing a helmet of sorts. No, I'm not, I'm not wearing a helmet. No, it's my hair. They've drawn my hair. It's like a structure. No. Yes, anyway, just shred it, will you? Shred it, yeah, let's get it in there. Mm. What's he doing here? Shredded! I don't know. Mm. Anything else you want to tell people? Mm. Oh yes! If you want to draw a picture and send it in, send it to this address. It's the Shredder, CBBC, PO Box 9989, London, W12, 6PA. Or you could email them in to cbbc at bbc.co.uk. You see, it's quite useful actually, yes. isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's quite good. He's taken over a bit though, I think. I think oh, I'll leave. No, you ask him to leave. I'm no, not asking him to leave. Him to leave. You well, ask guys, him to leave. Gentlemen! I must be leaving. Mm. Oh. Nice. Uh, okay. Who was he? I don't, I, I don't know. But I will return upon my return. Oh! Yes, and here's Tracy Beaker returns. Hmm. What have I told you about bringing your friends into the office? <laughs> At least I've got friends. Have you? No. <laughs> Ladles and jelly spoons, I'm still going with that. Uh, up next, we've got Sergio and Adventures, but this time tomorrow, brand new Blue Peter. They've got Fergus Flanagan from Help My Supply Teacher is still magic. He's a magician. He'll be doing some stuff in the studio. And also, Amelia Lilly is going to be trying to sing, isn't she? Oh, yes. <laughs> She's a big fan of She's that. She's good, isn't she? Right now, though, do you like fun? Not really. Well, in that case, let's play this game. La 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 Ask us anything La 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 Ask us anything Do you think this is too long this bit? I like it, it could be longer for me <laughs> This item is so popular now, quite frequently celebrities will try and ask us some questions That's right, most weeks don't yeah. they? It hasn't happened this week, so here's Chris with a question yeah. Yonko Yankee Yempi Bimbag Tent peg Big box powder! My question is, how and why? We came up with Chris's nickname, didn't we? Yeah, Yonko, because it's funny and it suits you, Yonks! And also because me and Acker have got too much spare time on our hands. I like tent bed. I like tent peg. OK, we've got some questions from the actual people. 1D lover 24-7. Real name? I hope not. If you could be anywhere right now, where would you be? We'd be right, right here, here, of course. Or maybe Barbados. Barbados would be nicer, but... Uh, yeah. right, right here. here. We've got a question from Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Real Should name? Uh, yes. Yep. Why does Acker not wear pants? What are you about? Of course, of course he does. I'm always wearing... Oh, I am me privets! Oh, it's right! Get away from me! <laughs> Disgusting, man. Eloise, how many times have you fallen out with each other? Oh, uh, one we've never time. fallen out. We've never one fallen time. out. We have never fallen we've out fallen in all the years. We have fallen out one time. In the last two and a half years, we've never fallen out. We've <laughs> fallen out one day, that's one time. Uh oh, we've just fallen out then. Oh, we just fell out. <sighs> Email in to us, cbbc at bb... Seriously, step back a bit. Pantsy. That pants thing is disgusting. <laughs> cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Ask us anything you want. We will answer your questions very shortly. But right now, it's time for the Sarah Jane event. Where are your pants? Oh! Check us on TV, working in perfect harmony. Stop what you're doing, because it's time for a milky brew. There's nothing like a lovely milky brew. Ah. In the morning or once you're home from school. Delightful. But our Katie just hasn't got a clue. What? You see, she's not quite like the other office crew. How so? <laughs> Would Madam care for a warm beverage? <laughs> Yuck, I'd sooner drink liquid ice cabbage. What? We will never, never, never have a milky brew together. We will never, never, never have a milky brew together. Sit yourself down, remove that frown. Turn on CBBC and let's all have a milky brew together. Not me. Never. What could be better than a splendid milky brew? Hmm, well how about some top-notch Scooby-Doo? And that castle with Danny is much more my cup of tea. And watching Sadie J is fabulous too. How true. <laughs> Pass the milky brew with your slice of cake. <laughs> yeah. 
I'd sooner go get me paste milkshake. Great toast, Cocker. We will never, never, never have a milky brew together. We will never, never, never have a milky brew together. Watch one blood in my heart, blue pizza hacker time all on CBBC. And let's all have a milky brew together. Not me, not ever. How rude! Does she look like Danny Harmer? Oh, here we go again. Just saying. Look, London! Tracy Beaker and Danny Harmer are the same person. Do you want to say what? Look, I've been trying to tell you this for years, all right? For, for ages now, ever since we were teens. 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 Right, OK. I'm going to trade my Tracy Beaker card, right, what? for your Danny Harmer card, because they're both worth 10 points because they're the same person. What? No, no. They're not the same person. Yeah, they are. Look, right, look, look. Here's the beaker. Yeah. And here's the armor, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I can see uh -huh. that she uh -huh. looks yeah. really stupid in that top. Like, why would you even wear that top? Uh, why would you even wear it? Uh, 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 it's nasty, right? Tracy would never let the sides down. Whatever. I'm not playing with you anymore because you're a cheater. Cheater! Cheater! Worth ten points, whatever. Take that. Uh, and she still doesn't get it. What's there to get? Hi guys, welcome back. That was Danny's castle. I'm excited about that, aren't we? Oh, can't wait. And up next, we have got some TSO TV. Speak of the devil. Uh, but right now, we're playing a very popular game, Ask Us Anything. Yeah. Hackety dog. What? I'm going to spice up a little bit. Go on, fire away. Well, I'm going to do a quiz. We asked a hundred of our closest friends. We don't know a hundred people. Oh, eight people. We know eight people, don't we? I extrapolated from that. Yeah. We asked them to get three words to describe me yeah. and three words to describe you. So oh, now you're going to write down the three words that describe me yeah. and I'll write down three words that describe you. We'll That'll be a fun on. little game that won't go wrong in any way. <laughs> Let's do it! Music played maestro. OK, I'm going to write down there. Yeah, yeah, right, that's a good one. OK, here we go. Wait, I've done. Got them all done. <clears throat> you hear my ones? Yeah. I've gone for kind. Ah. Oh. Wigan, I'm from Wigan. And fast writer. Oh, Ian, yeah, them are lovely words to describe me, but. Yeah. Um, go on, do, my, do me then, on you go. I don't, hear these. I don't think there's time to read these out, if I'm honest, Ian. There's oh, no time. There's, there's, there's no time. Yeah, well, well, go on, then. Read them out. All right, then. Annoying. Annoyingly handsome, then. Irritating. Irritatingly funny. Is in fact, I've written a few, few more down. Self indulgent. Rude, uncouth, loud, offensive, repugnant, aggressive, objectionable, obnoxious, arrogant, ghastly, disgraceful, volite, monstrosity, Wait. abomination, creature, mock, goat, gibbon. Stop talking! Why did you describe me as a gibbon? I just run out of words. Didn't I? You are a fast writer. Yep. Right. That wasn't as successful as we planned. Email in cbbc at bbc.co.uk. You can still ask us anything you want. What Hacker actually thinks about me, which is the one word. Lovely. Thank you very much. We'll be seeing you guys very shortly, sending you questions. And right now, it is time for TSOTB. Do you want that? No. <laughs> Some of that was wrong, Ian. Uh, it didn't uh, come on quick uh, enough. It's almost time for school, but well, don't forget to brush your teeth first and squeeze in a bit of TSOTB. That's coming up next week. Indeed, too. And of course, this afternoon, there's Brandy the Slammer returns. Love the governor. I could be the governor, me. Oh, who's the governor? Me, because I've got my white suit on. I own two suits. That's what he says, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sure, Chris. Uh, anyway, apparently, it's going to be a really funny episode this afternoon because Officer Meadows' mum's going to be popping in. Oh, no, that'd be horrible. Oh, I can't do it if my mum showed up at work. That'd be weird. Oh, poor Mrs. Yen. Oh. Mind you, I've got some errands to on now, so uh, hold the fort, will you? Well, we're in the middle of being on TV. Yes, we're in the middle of being on TV. I've got some letters to send and, you know, stamps to draw moustaches on. I've got to go, or I'll see you in a bit. Well, I suppose it's just me and you then. Uh, I could tell you a little bit about um, a, a new recipe that I tried out last week. It makes it the most <coughs> amazing. Oh, have you seen this? 
is Yen. You're all right, Katie. Yeah. You look well. You've been eating, Reese. Uh, yeah, I've been eating all right, thanks. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Where's my son gone? Is he skiving yeah, again? Yeah, he's gone mm. to run some errands, something to do with stamps. Oh, he does love his stamps. Mind you, speaking of loving, I uh, love the governor, me. Oh, Proud of yeah. his work. I'm here to audition for his show. Oh, right. This isn't the audition area. This is the CBBC office where, where your son works. Yeah, but he'll be watching more. He's got nothing uh, better to do. Uh, Come on, play the song! You're gonna hear me everywhere Louder, louder than a lion Cause I am a champion And you are gonna hear me everywhere Oh Casey, what is that noise? <laughs> That was Rua by Catherine Perry. Good lass. Fan of work. Great. Yeah, what do you think? You think I'll get in? It was amazing! Hey. I've never seen the performance was terrible, but you really embarrassed John Coe, so it was great! Well, swings and round of now, where's that governor? It's the SOTB. The Johnny Nine L show, we like that, don't we? Yeah. Looking forward to more of that next in week. the near future, AK, okay, next week, next Tuesday. But right now, we've got home to you. What's that, I'm gonna? We've got so many emails to ask us anything, but no time left. If only there's a way we could sort of speed read the road! Esme simply asks why. Why not cock Good answer. Izzy, which is better, Scotland or Wigan? Easy. Scotland. Wigan. Uh, Eden, good garden, says if you could change your names, what would they be? Mine would be Jonathan Tinyface. Rex Pinecone! <laughs> uh, Callum says, Hacker, what? who do you think? Uh, do you think Ian's got a nice moustache? Nope, it's horrendous. Ian, should Hacker grow a beard? Got He's one. got one all no. over his bodice. Pippa, how much do you like Milky Brews? Slops. Seven. You took my line. Nearly. Leo, if you could go to a fun fair with any historical character, who would it be? I'd go with Anne Bowling to the Anne Bowling Alley. I'd go with King Henry VIII. That way, if you're too tall, <laughs> you'd fit in. Duck impression. John Hacker, who'd you have a partner, Sue Barker or Ian? That's <laughs> obvious, isn't it? Sue Barker. She's lovely. And finally, Carol Louise, if you met an alien, what would you say? I'd say, get your massive head and your big eyes out of my way! You're making me physically rich! And then finally, one more, we've got time, we've got time, Carl. Why does Hacker always sit to my left, you, my right, your left? So we don't get confused. It's obviously Ian and Hacker. Yeah, I'm Ian. Hacker and Ian. Which one am I? Jack? Klaxon, please. Klaxon, thank you. Thank you, you got the adventure, didn't we? Yeah. All right, that's us done for today. I'm not in tomorrow, but fear you not, for we are joined by Ben Hanlon from Bolton. I believe, he's a, I believe he's a math magician or something. He is, and I'm in all day! He is indeed. See you all tomorrow. Well, not me, but right now, here is Daddy Movies.